Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the window pane Christmas ornament, which you can see here in the photo, and then as well I have a couple of finished ones here. This is uh, week or day number six of the Christmassy crochet long, so this is our final Christmas ornament, and uh, this is the one with the most uh, uh, the greatest variety of stitches so it is an intermediate level pattern although I'm sure once you see this video you will see that it's really quite simple once you get it going so for this project today you're going to need uh, about uh, 30 yards of a lightweight yarn in the ones that you see here and on my blog I use the line brand shawl in a ball which is labeled as a number four yarn but it's on the lighter side so if you're going to substitute like I'm going to do when I do the tutorial today you're going to want to use a lightweight yarn I'm going to be using the Patton's Grace yarn in the tutorial you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook a copy of the written crochet pattern which is free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com as well as a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for weaving in your ends. You're also going to need a plastic or uh, other material uh, 8 inch circumference crochet uh, or craft bobble such as this one here that I found at my local craft store. So you need it to have about an 8 inch circumference. You can certainly find one at a craft store or use one uh, that you may want to uh, recycle or upcycle. Uh, so that's all you're going to need for this ornament today. And uh, the direct link for this pattern is in the description of this video. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and... Uh, and, and enjoy. So let's uh, grab our ornaments and our yarn and our hook and learn how to crochet this window pane Christmas ornament. For our ornament today you're not going to need the craft ornament yet so you can set that aside. You're going to take your yarn and uh, make a slip knot. This pattern is worked in rounds and you're going to start by making a foundation chain of 36 chains. There's 10, 20, Thirty, and 36. Once you have your foundation chain worked, being careful not to twist your chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first chain. You're now ready to start round one for round four, or for round one you're going to chain four. And this counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. You're going to skip the next chain and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next chain and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. And uh, when you come all the way around, you're then going to join in the third chain of your starting chain four. Once you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that third chain of your starting chain four. Sorry, I missed my chain one there. There it 
There we go. Like so. You're then ready to begin round two. For round two, you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet into the top of the stitch where you just joined and then single crochet into the next chain one space. You're going to repeat that, so single crochet into each stitch and chain one space all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round two, you're joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch. For round three, chain one, single crochet into that same stitch as joining, and then work one bobble stitch into the next. To work a bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into this next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through two loops. You're going to do that four more times, so you'll have a total of five. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Do it three more times. Yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook and then single crochet into the next stitch. It's going to pop your bobble out uh, away from you like so. You've single crocheted into the next stitch. You're going to work a bobble stitch into the next. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two, do that a total of five times. Then yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of your round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. So this is what your work will look like so far. You're then going to chain one and for round four, you're going to single crochet into the same stitch as joining and then single crochet into each bobble and single crochet stitch, so into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch. At the end of round four, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round five, you're going to chain four, counts as a double crochet and a chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat this all the way around and then join with the slip stitch into the third chain of your starting chain four. At the end of your round five, chain one, join with the slip stitch into that third chain and chain one. You're now going to single crochet into each stitch and chain space all the way around. So single crochet into that same stitch as joining, into the next chain one space, into the next stitch and so on. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. 
At the end of round six, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. We're now going to work another round of our bobble stitches. So chain one for round seven, single crochet into that first stitch, and then bobble into the next. Repeat that all the way around, single crochet, then bobble into the next stitch, and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round seven, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round eight, you're going to chain one single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. At the end of round eight, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, and you're ready to begin round nine. For round nine, it's your final round. You're going to start by chaining four. It counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. Repeat that all the way around, chain one, and then join with a slip stitch into the third chain of that starting chain four. You can at that time fasten off and weave in your ends. Once you have finished your round nine, you will have fastened off and you can weave in your ends. You're then going to cut two lengths of yarn about six to eight inches long. Then take your DIY ornament and just slip it into the crochet sleeve that you've now created. So you're just going to pull your crochet on over top of the Christmas ornament. You're then going to take your length of yarn and you're going to weave it in and out through the chain spaces of that top and bottom round. You can start with either one. Weave it in and out all the way around until you meet up with your other end. You could then pull it off and you're then going to pull it tight around the top of your ornament. It's going to pull those spaces right up. That's okay. That's what you'd like. And then you're going to tie a knot and weave in your ends. You're then going to repeat the same for the other side. Simply weave your length of yarn in and out through the chain spaces. All the way around until you meet up with the other end. Pull it tight and you're going to have to pull it quite a bit for the opposite end and you want to get it as tight as you can around that bottom. Pull it closed, fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to working this uh, window pane Christmas ornament. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed these six Christmas ornaments. Uh, be sure to take a look at all of them and uh, give them a thumbs up. Share them if you'd like. That'd be wonderful. And I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting.
Bye.